Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Borderlands 2. I'm Nosgard Silverclaw here with my character Gage, and I got tired of the Minecraft head of my old outfit, so I got a new one. And he's Lord Darkington. You will help me and I will pay you. It is as simple as that. I hid the copious material I compiled after opening the vault those five long years ago. In a fit of spastic paranoia, I did not write down the locations for the information. Find it for me and be handsomely... Oh, were you expecting me to say handsomely rewarded? And I'm Lord Darkington. And he's Lord Darkington. So our first quest today is here in the Town of Sanctuary, actually. We just gotta collect some notes for, uh, the crazy chick. I can hear the end already. Yeah. Located to sanctuary against everyone's better judgment. Not my own, mind you. I never wanted to be here. I was perfectly content to live out my days in a non-standard living arrangement with two ceiling chairs I met at a bar fight. Oh, they're adorable. They barely speak any English. And if you have to ask what a ceiling chair is, I pity the life you've wasted. I should discuss the scroll offense in the room. The reason for my relocation was an elongated and systematically unpleasant torture at the hands of Jack's cronies. Roland and his well-defined pectoral muscles were kind enough to entrust the vault key with me after the awakening of the destroyer. Not to be confused with the warrior. Seriously, those sound nothing alike. Oh, right. Torture. I asked nicely on several occasions to take proper precautions against bacteria on the instruments, but it fell upon idiotic ears. As they cut into my flesh over and over, I would fade in and out of consciousness and whisper to the ceiling chairs that it was going to be okay. Clark was afraid at first. His four legs trembled against the cold ceiling. But he knew he had to be strong for me. Then they went to work on his brother, Philippe. Hi, hey man, I, uh, I need something. Hi, hey man, I think Roland wanted you to go check out the town of Overlook. See if you can help the people there or whatever. Them folks have been cooped up in their houses ever since they got the shivers. Dollars for donuts, they could use your help. I just uh, picked that quest up real quick because we'll be doing that quest today as well, and it was the most efficient route to get everything done. Back to listening to Tannis talk about her strangely erotic torturing with knives and whips and chains. Well, no, first we got, you have to get lost first, and then we can continue. I, you know what, it switched the quest on me, I didn't realize it, I figured it out in just a moment. Like, right now. Now we'll continue. I just told you the sequence of events. Philippe. I, I just, Philippe was so brave. He was so brave for me when the rotary saws began to ply his legs from his body. Thor cried out for his brother. Even when one of the torturers inadvertently sat on him and muffled his cries. The last thing Philippe said before he passed on to the great wooden beyond was, I love you, Patty. I love you. And then he was gone. <sighs> it's lonely here in Sanctuary. Sure, Clork prattles around on the ceiling, but it's hardly the same. Jack has taken so much from me. Jack has taken the only happiness I've ever had in his asinine quest for the warrior and more power. Revenge is as pointless as music. Is that on this occasion, stuff? I will allow myself the revenge. I will allow myself to aid in his downfall. Mark my words, Jack. You're going to die. Ah! The chronicles of my torture. I shall warm up some cold cocoa and listen to these again. What the hell is a ceiling chair? Oh, and now let's get on to our next quest. Hello. Given the skill with which you dispatch those r robots, we of the town of Overlook thought you might give us a hand, so to speak. So, first item on the agenda, we're all dying of a brain disease. If you could get us three shipments of medication, we would live, which uh, would allow me to keep paying you. Our m medicine machine needs a new battery. Please climb the clock tower ladder and remove the clock's battery. Attention, Overlook residents. You're welcome. 
Now, since we're climbing a clock tower, the only appropriate response is to equip sniper rifle, because who climbs a clock tower without a sniper rifle? Uh, Freddie Mercury. I don't believe he climbed clock towers. I believe he sung in a band called Queen. Well, this doesn't mean he doesn't climb clock towers in his spare time. He's dead. He had AIDS. Maybe he did in his youth. It was not a lunatic. To our medicine machine and buy some skull shiver medication, P -p please. Once I find out who thought we needed a running clock more badly than we needed shiver medication, they will be thoroughly reprimanded. Very thoroughly reprimanded. So you plug the power core in and you forget I that. Fear you and yeah. That any unauthorized behavior will be rewarded with a one-way trip to the grinder. You forget to buy the medication. Then you buy it. Thank you, but we need two more medicine shipments. The next is carried by a traveling Hyperion requisition officer wandering the highlands. Get the medicine from him. Without his guards, I'm sure the salesman will give you a good price for his medicine. I su suggest killing them politely, if possible. So you heard the lady. Let's kill the guards politely, if possible. We anyway, shall. Just quite, we shall. You just cross Blade Bridge here, it's kinda hard to miss this guy. He's walking along the road, so yeah. Just follow the road and you'll pretty much run right into him. In our case, more or less literally. No. So yeah, take out his guard, which will be some war loaders, and then kill the requisition officer. And his backup, of course, like the jet loaders. Really nothing here too difficult. And when he dies, you can get your medicine. He has no legs. Who needs a medical license when you got to die? Great. You're very efficient. I respect that. The last medicine shipment was being delivered by boat, but we lost contact. Find it, please. So a little jump cut here. If you just follow the road to the marker, it's kind of hard to miss. I just figured I'd save some time. And here on this boat, which is, by the way, right next to the first of the arms dealer mailboxes we get in the last video, you'll have to, well, defend this place from the Threshers. threshers? Be careful. Until the locker opens, which can take, uh, can take a little while. Not a little bit. Nothing too long, though. You. And thank you, Death Trap, for the shield. I'm actually almost dead. Indeed. They actually messed me up pretty good, if you can see here. And they got dark completely. They did. But I got the medicine, so it's okay. So once you get the three medicines, all you gotta do is head back to, well, the doorway that the uh, woman hiring us is at, and you'll finish this quest. Like I said, pretty simple. Follow the marker, shoot the guy, no real gimmick here. Uh, for Threshers, I recommend an incendiary weapon. Appreciate it. And for the robots, of course, I recommend Corrosive. Shockingly enough. So shocking. Probably nothing new there, but eh. You pretty much met most of the enemy type by this point. There's there's a few left near the end of the game, but you've met most of the enemy types. Screw you! You can bring me medicine all day. It don't make you less of a stag sucker. Sorry about Dave. He's a. Uh. We try not to talk to him. Return to me for your agreed upon reward. If I had ten people like you, this town would be running like clockwork.
Now I told you in the last video to start keeping any shields you find, this is why. This quest is very quick if you have shields already, which we do. Yes, just like that. A few more shields and I'll be able to build us a defense shield out of the parts. I was a computer engineer before Overlook's old administrator died and left me in charge. Karima, you can't make us no techie shieldy thing. You was a woman. Now, if the town needs someone to make us a big old sandwich, then we call you. Your feedback is appreciated, I David. I to remind you that it could be much worse. So, yeah. David sounds like a douchebag. It's a theory, but he might be a douchebag. Now I'm going to play catch. Death one. You're fired. I caught that one. You didn't catch it quick enough. I'll try again then. Better? Too slow now. What? That was faster. Well, you caught it too fast now. <sighs> anyway, one more shield for my co-op buddy here and we'll be good to go. Thanks for the gear, stranger. I'm ready to build the shield now. Grab the scrap and bring it to me. Now, you might remember the Hyperion base in this zone. We've been to it a few times now. Y'all just gonna blow yourselves up. Better quit Hyperion now. Is Thank you for mind. your input, Dave. Will be sent to each household next month. Yeah, Dave sounds like kind of a douche. I'm with you on this one. Overlook shield is finished, and I would very much like your help testing it. Head to the Hyperion outpost near by and get to the mortar cannon on the launch pad. Hey, Karima. You know what's even better than having a working shield? Not being a woman. <laughs> oh my god, shut up, Dave. Anyway, we'll meet you at that base I was just talking about. We've been to it quite a few times already, so you should know where it is. Just ignore Nos getting in the car and then jumping out of the car and then having to run back to get in the car. That didn't happen. I thought it was a jump cut. By the way, we got attacked by my favorite enemy in the game again, so I kept this in. On the sheer basis, I really like the badass Pyre Thresher. He looks awesome. I don't like him, because he kicks us in the face too many times. He, he is pretty tough, I'll give you that. No, it's nothing about toughness. He just kicks me in the face too many times. He is so badass that the turrets actually ignore us to fire on him. The enemy turrets. But they do that anyway, then. It's because he's a badass. Well, I'm pretty certain it's because he's a thresher. Badass. No, it's because he's a thresher. He's a topper, higher priority, regardless, I believe. Uh, I think he's a badass. Well, he is a badass. I'm just saying they're shooting him because he's a thresher. You got no more retorts. I shall do a victory dance. Uh, go ahead, do your victory dance. But I I'm pretty sure he's a badass. Well, he is badass. That's not why the uh, sentry is shooting him. I see. Anyway, just cut right to the front of the base, go to the back end here. And then once you clear this area out, you're free to continue the quest. But I hope you like Violent, because for the next couple minutes, we're going to be doing a lot of killing. Yep. Which is hence why I brought the corrosive weapon. There are a few uh, humans here, but it's primarily going to be robots. Yeah. Why I thought a fire barrel would be effective against a fire loader is beyond me, if they resist fire heavily, but whatever. Because you're a crazy bitch. I am pretty crazy. Anyway, we good? Nope, nope, one more. Pro shot there. I approve. Marvelous. You're fired. And let's continue now. Aw. Who's that scared sucking moron up by the cannon? Please ignore Dave and aim the cannon 55 degrees port bound, 86 degrees skyloft. We'll need Overlook to sustain a direct hit from the mortar to test the shield. Yeah, I say, he's got really good sight. I, don't, I don't think I could see us from up here from his position. Like, he's got to have like a telescope or something. Constantly looking up by the mortar? He has nothing better to do but make be a sexist and look at the mortar gun. 
Uh, no, no, he's being a sexist idiot. Takes up more time. I see. So we get the mortar gun in place, like so, and let's test that shield. Now, fire the cannon. Shoot her! Now, let's try that with the shield on. The cannon works exactly as it's supposed to. Now let's test the shield. Let's go to make sure the mortar is working, right? Yeah, the mortar, we gotta make sure the mortar works before we can make sure that it's effective with the shield. Let's fire the cannon again. So, now let's check that shield out. How'd that work? Did we good, do a good job? Uh, shoot her! Shoot her! Most efficient. The shield works. Overlook is safe and... No, Dave. This is truly a happy day. Return to me at your earliest convenience. To be fair, I'd want to shoot that asshole too in her shoes, so I can't really fault her. I wasn't in her shoes and I wanted to shoot him. You know my favorite thing about Dave? He's dead. That is a good trait. It is a very good trait. Anyway, I'll show you guys this shield that we just got to, on the next video, because I am going to equip it. It's a pretty good shield. For now, I am Nosgard Silverclaw here with my character, Gage. Good night. Good night.